हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जियो मैटिक्स इंजीनियरिंग रिसेंटली आई आस्क यू ऑल अबाउट योर क्वेरीज इन गूगल अर्थ इंजन एंड फ्रॉम दैट पोस्ट आई गॉट सो मेनी कमेंट्स फ्रॉम यू गाइज एंड आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट टू कवर ऑल दो टॉपिक फॉर दैट यू हैव रिक्वेस्टेड अ वीडियो एंड फ्रॉम दैट कमेंट्स आई हेड सेलेक्टेड अ टॉपिक फॉर टू डेज लेक्चर दैट इज लैंड सर्फेस टेम्परेचर टेम्पोरल एनालिसिस सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो हियर आई ओपन द ब्लैंक स्क्रिप्ट इन गूगल अर्थ इंजन एंड नेम्ड इट एज अ एल एस टी टेम्पोरल एनालिसिस इफ यू हैव वॉस्ड माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ गूगल अर्थ इंजन द फर्स्ट इस्ट आई यूज टू डू इज द सेलेक्शन ऑफ एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सो फॉर टू डेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट एन एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एज अ बाउंड्री ऑफ एन इंडियन स्टेट विच इज मध्य प्रदेश सो इन माई एसेट सेक्शन आई ऑलरेडी हैव ऑल इंडियन स्टेट बाउंड्रीज सो जस्ट बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस एरो इम्पोर्ट द शेप फाइल एंड आफ्टर दैट द इम्पोर्टेड शेप फाइल विल बी अपियर इन दिस इम्पोर्ट सेक्शन एंड इन दिस शेप फाइल देर इज ऑल इंडियन स्टेट आर कवर्ड सो फ्रॉम दिस वी हैव टू फिल्टर आउट ओनली द मध्य प्रदेश सो अगेन अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फिल्टर द शेप फाइल सो फॉर फिल्टरिंग द शेप फाइल वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ न्यू वेरिएबल हेयर आई एम गिविंग अ न्यू वेरिएबल नेम एज स्टेट बॉर्डर एंड विद इन दिस वेरिएबल वी हैव टू फर्स्टली सेलेक्ट द शेप फाइल फ्रॉम विच वी वॉन्ट टू फिल्टर आउट अवर स्टेट बाउंड्री सो टेबल डॉट फिल्टर एंड विद इन दिस ब्रैकेट वी हैव टू अगेन अ राइट अ फंक्शन ई ई डॉट फिल्टर डॉट ई क्यू क्यू इज यूज फॉर इक्यू वैलेंट सो वेयर द नेम इज इक्यू वैलेंट टू मध्य प्रदेश इट शुड बी filtered out so the name and madhya pradesh is available in the attributes of this table shape file the name is the header of that column and the madhya pradesh is that polygon name and then we have to add this filtered shape file into map layer to see that our shape file is extracted successfully or not for that we have to copy the state border and paste it within map dot add layers now just click on run and you will see that one layer is added here but it is not appearing so whenever you are working on any area of interest firstly make it a center object for center object creation we have to again write a function map dot center object give the state border as your center object and i am zooming it at a level 6 and after using the center object function when you will run this code it will automatically zoom out on your area of interest location so we can see that our madhya pradesh state boundary is filtered out successfully so this part is done here and our next part is to import the lst image collection so for lst images i am going to use the modis images so for this i am going to create a new variable variable modis and within this variable we are going to store store our image collect so for that we have to write ee dot image collection and within these brackets we have to write that unique code of modis lst images for that we have to search for modis lst in the search bar sometimes my search bar is not working so when it is not working or up appearing any layer now it is appearing if this happens with you all that uh, there are not any raster showing so you can open a new tab and there search for google earth engine data catalogs and from there you can search for modis land surface temperature data so here it is appearing mod 11 a1 daily 1 km resolution data i am going to open it and from here the collection snippet i am going to copy this code copy this and paste it within these bracket now we get this image collection and now filter the date range for filtering the date you have to write the function dot filter date and within these bracket you have to write a start date and a end date so i'm going to take the date range from 2022 first jan to 31st december for that we have to write 2020 and our end date is going to be 2022 12 and 31st so our date range is selected here and our next task is select the band so what band we have to select for that i'm again going to this modis lst data set and within this band section you can see that there are so many bands available in this image collection so our focus is on this lst daily 1 km data that is available in kelvin unit so copy this band name and paste it within this select function so our lst band is selected here now our image collection is in kelvin so we have to convert it in celsius so our next step is to convert this image collection from kelvin to celsius so we are working on a 
image collection so we have to create a function for this conversion so we are working on a image collection we didn't have created a mean image from this and we want to convert each image of this image collection from kelvin to celsius so for that we need to create a function for this conversion so for this conversion i am going to create a new variable which i am giving a name modis celsius so mod cell is our new variable name and within these i am taking the image collection which is modis because on this image collection we have to apply this function so dot map dot map will apply this function on this image collection and within these brackets we have to define the function so what our function is it should take an input image for describing the function a new curly braces will start it and this function should return a image and what this returned image have it should be firstly multiply with 0.02 so from where this 0.02 value came so when you see this modis lst image data you can see that for using this band you have to use the scale 0.02 so for this conversion we have to firstly multiply this value from this image collection and then again you have to subtract 273.15 as you all know it is used for kelvin to celsius conversion and then we have to copy property copy properties will get all the attributes of input image in the output image so within this copy properties what i wanted that all the image acquisition date of input image will reflect also in output image so for that we have to write in these square back brackets the system colon time underscore start this term is used for getting the information of acquisition date of images so our function creation is done here for kelvin to celsius conversion and now the converted image is stored in this mod cell variable then our next step is to create a chart of lst temporal analysis and within this chart we are going to represent the temporal lst values within the chart where the x axis will show all the acquisition dates and y axis will show the temperature values in celsius so for this chart creation we have to create a new variable this variable i am naming as time series chart tsc and for the any kind of chart preparation you have to use a function ui so within this ui you have to write dot chart dot image dot series so this function will create a chart for you and now you have to describe the chart element for this function so for that we have to start a new bracket and within these brackets a new curly bracket will also start it and within these curly braces you have to define all the key value element so what our first key is going to be the image collection so our kelvin to celsius converted image collection is stored in this mod cell variable so our image collection is going to be this mod cell now after each key value pair you have to put a comma then we have to select a reason so reason we are selecting here because within this reason a mean value is calculated for each day so our reason is our state border so the reason is selected here and next is reducer so what does this reducer is used for so we have to take the mean value of lst images within this reason so we have to define the mean function in this reducer so for that we have to write e dot reducer dot mean this function will calculate the mean value of daily lst images within this reason now again put a comma next key is scale so our data is for 1 km resolution it means that 1000 meter and again put a comma and now we have to define the x property what is going to visualize on the x axis of the chart that will be described in this x property so for this x property we just want to show the acquisition dates of images so for the acquisition date we have to get this system time start term and now this chart parameters are done here so these brackets will be closed here and now within this chart we want to put a title of the chart and a y axis title for that we need to use a new function that is set option and within this new function we have to put these brackets first then describe our title so what our title is going to be lst temporal analysis and now put a comma and for vertical axis i again want to give a title here which is going to be lst celsius now close the brackets here now chart preparation part is done here now print this chart to see that how our chart is looking so for that you have to write the print function where 
P should be small. Put this TSA within these bracket. Now click on run. It will take some time as Google Earth Engine is collecting all the elements and trying to create a chart for you. Now you can see that our chart is visible here where our title we have gave it a LST temporal analysis for vertical axis. We gave a title LST Celsius. Let me zoom it up this chart and you can see that our vertical axis title which we have defined in the code is LST Celsius. Our chart title is LST Temporal Analysis and in Y axis all the temperature values in Celsius are appeared here and in the X axis all the acquisition dates are there. So with this way you can create a chart, temporal chart and now for the image visualization what we have to do. So our next step is image visualization. So for image visualization at once a time you can visualize one image. So we are going to take a mean value of this image collection. So for that I am going to create a new variable that is variable mean and within this mean variable we are going to take this mod cell image which have all the Celsius converted image and paste that and dot mean function will be used for the mean calculation of this image collection. And I will also add a function dot clip for clipping it with our state border. So also clip it with state border. And now add this mean image into map layer. So for that we have to write map dot add layer. And within these brackets we have to take first this image that we want to visualize which is mean. The visualization parameter I am blank and the map layer name is going to be LST mean. Now click on run. So you can see that all the two layers are visualized here. First is our state boundary and second is LST mean. I didn't give any visualization parameter that's why it is looking black. So give the visualization parameters from here in the setting. So firstly I am stretching this range and then providing a color palette to this. For this I am going to take 5 colors that is from dark green to red. So dark green, light green, yellow, orange and red. So this is going to be our color palette. Now click on apply. Now you can see that a colorful image is appearing here. You can also import this visualization parameter. You can see that in the import section this image visualization parameters are stored. You can just paste it in your map.add layer section for future perspective. So whenever you will run this you doesn't have to select all this color palette and min max values. You will get a colorful image. So using this code you can create a land surface temperature temporal analysis and represent it through a chart. So I hope you all understand about it through this lecture and if you are liking these kind of videos please let me know in the comment section and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.